Hey, do you want to learn how to make better banana pecan muffins with a secret ingredient? Bubbly water. Yes, bubbly water instead of eggs. It's an amazing swap and you're going to want to make these all the time. So let's start out. We've got one and three quarters of a cup of whole wheat pastry flour, putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt going in there. And we just want to get that whisked up and mixed up really well. You want to make sure your leavening is always well mixed. So we've got a half a cup of organic sugar. We're going to get that into there because we want to make sure all this is well distributed. So once it gets mixed up, it will rise evenly. So now I've got three quarters of a cup of mashed banana and I went old school. I mashed it with a fork. No food processor, no blender, just manual action there. Quarter cup of melted plant-based butter. And you could use coconut oil or avocado oil. I just like that little bit of buttery flavor. And then I've got a half a cup of plain unsweetened almond milk. You can use whatever non-dairy milk you like, whatever you've got on hand. And I'm gonna whisk that up because I wanna make sure that that plant-based butter gets in there before it might have time to harden. Now I'm using some limey flavor, La Croix. It doesn't really matter. You can use any kind of seltzer water, bubbly water, mineral water, whatever you've got. So I'm putting in a quarter cup of this. Now you may know a large egg is about a quarter of a cup in volume. So I'm basically replacing that with bubbly water. Now this recipe, because it has mashed bananas, it also has a good amount of body from that. So we're gonna just make a luscious muffin that most people won't even realize has no eggs. So you wanna mix that in there pretty quickly, again, so that we will not deflate that bubbly water. We want that little bit of lift. So we want that, that mineral water to still be popping. So I'm gonna fold in these chopped pecans and make sure and hit like and go to robinasbell.com and check me out because I can use all the love I can get, people. So now I'm using a quarter cup scoop and it's well rounded to see if it's, it's gonna be really almost half a cup per scoop. So then I'm sprinkling turbinado sugar on there for those crispy sugar tops into the oven and then out of the oven. I'm going to test it with a toothpick and you want that to come out with no wet batter attached. Success! So here we have our luscious, fabulous banana pecan muffins. Great for breakfast, great for snacks. So come on over to robinasbell.com, click like, and I'll see you next time.